Jay Sekulow serves as counsel to the president, and he joins us now from Washington. Jay, good morning. Uh, hey, yesterday, good morning. Yesterday, we learned uh, that the a acting director of national intelligence considers this report to be serious. Uh, it was found to be credible, and it's believed that the whistleblower acted in good faith. So let's move to the to the contents of the complaint and see if we can agree on, on some of the things that have happened, because as Republicans pointed out, hasn't been proven. On the question of whether the call was moved to a server meant for intelligence matters, a political call moved to a server meant for intelligence matters and locked down there, did that happen, and if so, why? Well, first of all, I'm not the White House counsel. I'm the president's counsel, and that's a different role. So I'm not involved in what, how the White House internally handles Has the president documents. told you that he did that, and if so, I'm not why? Gonna, I will never tell you. I, first of all, I've never had that conversation with the president, but I'm not going to tell you conversations I had with the president. But let's get a couple of facts that you said initially here. Let's get some things clarified. This individual has no firsthand knowledge, none, of the events outlined in the document that with, apparently with respect, was drafted. With respect, Mr. Sekulow, I, I oh, want to okay. interrupt Can just I with, with sentence, respect. Please, it's important because two, two Trump uh, administration appointees have found the report to be credible. So what my goal is here no, is no, to no, find no, out no. what, what I, I is what too. actually happened. Let me answer the question you so, asked. And, and, and let me answer so, uh, the question second you asked. Secondhand information, yes, but deemed okay, credible. Well, let so let's talk about the okay, contents. Hold it. Hold it. Who, secondhand information that would not be admissible in a U.S. district court in the middle district of Georgia. Okay, but did let's it be happen, realistic. sir? Did what happen? Was did it the conversation moved, moved into this separate server? And if so, you why? Have the wrong, you have the wrong guest. So, I'm not the White House counsel. I am the president's counsel. I don't decide where things are moved or how let, they're handled on a security uh, on a security matter. Then, as the president's counsel, let's talk about okay. the call that the president declassified uh, and, and released a partial transcript of a kind of call summary. Well, that was the tra hold, hold it. The, the, there's the normal disclaimer on there that was not a you know as you said a word for word verbatim transcript. That's on these. Uh, apparently, that's the standard operating practice. The the question that should be asked. And, and that's not being asked here is, with the context of what took place at the hearing yesterday, why didn't Adam Schiff just read the transcript instead of doing a parody when he started the event off as if it was a Saturday Night Live That's routine? a question you that's can pose to Adam Schiff and if you guys ever sit down together. Regarding the call itself, according to the call summary, uh, the president on July 25th, a time when Joe mm -hmm. Biden was leading in the polls, seemed to be a major mm -hmm. rival of the president for 2020, the president brings up his name. Uh, in a conversation with a foreign leader, seeming to invite the uncovering of dirt about a main a political rival. Was that appropriate? The, there is no violation of law, rule, regulation, or statute with that phone call. Well, was it appropriate? No, it, look, uh, that, look it, the president determines what communications he wants to have and what he believes is appropriate in his communications with another head of state. And by the way, the fact is the White House decided to release this transcript. And they gave it to you all, and they gave it to Congress, in an abundance of transparency. But we should not be happy that conversations with presidents are going to be disclosed if this starts becoming a regular practice. Has the Why? president it's ever hard, Hold it. It's hard to conduct affairs of state with other foreign leaders when this kind of nonsense is going on. The president this is, voluntarily Tony, this released is, this the is call, here, This is Mr. hearsay. Sekulow. Yes, he did. He did. Out so, of an abundance, of, but I don't think we should be gloating that that's some great day for America that we're releasing. We're calls merely trying to get onto the record what happened and what did not happen uh, in the call. Uh, the president uh, brought up Joe Biden and also invoked Rudy Giuliani, suggesting that, that uh, the, his other president of Ukraine. Let me get a question. The president of Ukraine. Let me be clear. I need the to get this out of here, Ukraine, sir. The, the president of Ukraine raised uh, Rudy Giuliani. So let's get that clear. Uh, now go ahead. Rudy Giuliani was was said by the president to be in touch with Ukraine to talk about apparently digging up dirt uh, about a political rival. Has the president ever asked you, you? Would you accept that assignment if you were Rudy Giuliani? And has I, the president asked you? To do something similar. I, first of all, I will. I have not been involved in this, but I will be very clear. I am not going to discuss what the president discussed with me about any event in the context of attorney-client privilege. The number one. Number two. I go back to the initial statement. What in the conversation violates a rule, regulation, or law? What is the violation of law? That in is that not conversation? the standard, Mr. Seculo. This is no, a well, political well, no, question. No, it's that's actually, been moved to Congress. Who makes the determination what the standard is? Political in a call involving taxpayer money and the question of when it no, would no, be hold, hold it, sent to it. Ukraine, no, no. it was on hold for multiple months. It's involving the taxpayer invoked money. His He's the president rival. of the United States. The president is the president of the United States. Of course, the call involves taxpayer money. What does that have to do with rules, regulations, or statutes? Nothing. 
He's and holding I, this back is what's funding so ironic at the time here. of the call. Here's what you're doing. He's holding back the, funding at the time of the call. And he's you, asking. Do you, let me ask you a question. A foreign you, government. You have no. To look you have no knowledge arrival. of the basis upon which funding was held back or not. You have no now firsthand knowledge can you, of that. Can you enlighten You're, us, sir? I am not the. What? Why are you having so much trouble understanding this? You asked me to be a guest on your broadcast. You represent I am the, the president. This counsel. involves the president. Yes, I, but I'm not the White House counsel. I don't make those decisions. Those are not conversations I have. So, are you here to talk about things other than your client? No, I can't talk about the transcript. That's what you invited me on your broadcast to do. And here's the so question why don't we regarding, do that? And here's the question regarding Good. The, the transcript. Was it appropriate for the president to invoke a for, to invite a foreign government to dig to look up into dirt corruption? on his main political rival? No, let, let's phrase what he said. Did he say political? I want political dirt on. Is that in the transcript, by the way? Don't, is that in the transcript? Political dirt on arrival? He said he'd heard some very bad things, things that have not okay, been proven. There you that go. There's no evidence of. I hope you'll get and to the bottom said, of what's with, going with on over there. Funding, so stick to the back text here, of the transcript. Said, Why don't do you us stick a favor, to the transcript? He said. Okay? Do he us said, a favor. I need a favor. He said. You're looking to, to, to corruption. Are you, let me ask you a question. Do you think Ukraine's had an issue with, you, uh, with corruption? Of course. And the, Senate, an and the Senate oh, determined that when so the you Senate. think the President of the United States might be able to raise that? When, Do you think that's okay? The Senate for the president to raise that issue. The Senate approved the Ukraine. aid back in Hold on the the Senate approved the aid back in May because mm -hmm. they were satisfied that significant steps had been taken to root out that corruption. It's Do yet to be explained the why time? the president held that aid back for 3 months and then only released it 1 day after uh, Adam Schiff requested the whistleblower's complaint. That's a curious timeline. If you can enlighten us on it, please do. I, I'm going to enlighten you on something that you, I, I don't think you're, you, you want to pay attention to, and that is the transcript itself. You're trying to figure out what was the basis upon which the president of the United States thought that a, there should be, if that is the case, a holdback of funds pending a uh, whatever it was going to be, whatever issues the State Department and all the other agencies were dealing with. I cannot look into that because I am the private counsel. So when you invite me on your network, let's be clear on what I can and cannot say if we want to do this again. All right, Mr. Sekula, thank you very much. We appreciate your time.